I'm here with uh, Rachel Deering, the writer of Anathema. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. What got you first interested in comics? Um, actually, when I was about eight years old, my uncle gave me a small sack of um, like heavy metal magazine, Tales from the Crypt, Creepy and Eerie, stuff from Warren Publishing, and I fell in love with those books, and after I read them through so many times, like where the cover was falling off, basically, um, I wanted more stories, but I lived way out in the middle of nowhere, like in the hills of Kentucky, so I didn't have access to new comics, um, and so I just started to make comics on my own, and that's, that's how I got into the whole thing. What is your thought process when you write an issue of your comic? Um, basically, I just, I take everything I like, at least with Anathema, I take everything that I like and try to cram it into an issue, you know. I'm, I'm a big fan of monsters, I'm a big fan of gothic horror, I'm a big fan of lesbians, because I am one, so. <laughs> um, you know, and I, I just try to work as much stuff in, into a book as I can, you know, stuff that I really, really enjoy. So that's, that's basically it. It's all joy for me, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and can you tell the folks at home a little bit about Anathema? Sure. Anathema is basically my love letter to um, 70s horror movies and 70s horror comics. Um, I'm a big fan of Hammer Horror Movies and the Warren Publishing uh, magazines. So it was basically my love letter to them saying, I really miss the way classic horror was. I don't like the way modern horror is going with the blood and gore and in-your-face sort of violence and stuff. So I wanted to make something that was more classic and um, featured a lot of creatures and things like that. And uh, so this one is just about a woman who has to become a monster and travel across the world to try to win back her lover's soul. The first two issues are ready to, ready to purchase. When will the uh, third issue come out? The third issue is being worked on right now, and it's about a third of the way finished. Um, I'm hoping to have it out by next month. So. And what do you think uh, you'll do after you finish the series? Um, after this series, well, I have like seven books that I'm working on right now, and I'm pitching them to different publishers. Uh, hopefully one of those books gets picked up and I can work on that as a series. Um, if not, then I plan on doing some anthologies, like putting anthologies together myself with some friends of mine, because I'm friends with like Justin Jordan and Josh Fialkov and stuff, other people who write horror. Um, I would like to put an anthology together with them and like get all the best horror writers into one book. So that's a dream of mine, too. Well, thank you so very much for talking with us today. I hope you have a great time here at the New York Comic Con. Thanks so much. You too.